Meet the bumblebee, fuzzy, busy, and secretly kind of brilliant. First off, they're pollen snobs. Not just any flower will do. These bees sniff out the finest organic protein-packed pollen like it's a Michelin star buffet. And get this, they recognize human faces. So if you've ever insulted a bee's buzz, yeah, she remembers. They even teach each other stuff, like how to open tricky flowers or solve puzzles. Basically, it's bee hogwarts out there. Buzz pollination, that's their superpower. They vibrate like tiny jackhammers to shake pollen loose. Other bees can't relate. And yes, they have pollen baskets on their legs. It's like yoga pants with built-in grocery bags. Their wings beat 130 times per second. That's faster than your blender on Obliterate. But don't ask for honey. Bumblebees don't make it. They sip nectar like espresso and move on. Only the queen survives winter. Everyone else, be gone. And they're always 40 minutes from starvation. Same, honestly. There are over 265 species. Some wear red, some orange. Bee fashion is wild. Some flowers evolved just for them, like bottle gentian. Only strong bees can open it. It's basically a floral gym membership. The largest bumblebee lives in South America. She's 40 millimeters long and nicknamed Flying Mouse. Male bees can't sting. They're just here for the vibes. And they're surprisingly chill. Bumblebees won't sting unless provoked. So don't poke the puffball. They can fly in cold weather. Thanks to their fuzzy coats and internal bee heaters. So next time you see a bumblebee, don't swat, salute. She's a tiny genius with pollen pants and a heart of gold. Bumblebees, smarter, fuzzier, and way cooler than you thought. <laughs>